find interesting. So I've been worried about legislation um, mm. and uh, what all of this crap, because I know what the government's going to do. They're going to be like, Oh, we've got to save the poor wrecked plebs out there that got scammed by all of these, you know, right. platforms and DeFi. And and I'm also hearing a lot of them and even Michael Saylor's dumbass and all them talking about the only true cryptos, the only uh, assets that should be called commodities are Bitcoin and Ethereum and the all the rest. He said of Ethereum now. Curious. Yeah, now they're saying Ethereum because Whoa. Ethereum got its pass. Mm. Gotcha, Ethereum gotcha. has a pass. You know, Ethereum was 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 fined for um, potentially being. I don't know exactly what their fine was for. It was for potentially being a security or whatever, and they right. got fined. Right. And then they gave them a reprieve and said, "Okay, you guys are all right. It's all good. Go ahead and conduct your business." Oh, I think it was for the ICO. I think it was for the ICO. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for the for the early ICO when when it came out, but um, so. So now I see sentiment being pushed again with this last legislation crap that came out was about, um, you know, let's, let's push um, DeFi under the bus so right. that centralized exchanges can still have their cut of everything. And, and so they tried to make legislation against self-custodial wallets. Like you're going to have to report every 600 bucks or whatever it was. It went through a, a self-custody wallet you know and uh and that's just crap man i mean it's just they're 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 looking in the wrong places and i know who, we know who it is i mean it's it's the exchanges and the founders of these other um you know tokens that want to you know push DeFi under the bus and and right. you know keep their keep their stranglehold on everything but uh i think that with what just happened and the transparency of it, it makes a case for DeFi, you know, and like, Hey, now there can't be any fuckery going on behind the scenes and hiding this shit. Now we can see what's going on, but that needs to be even more transparent. You right. know, if you've got stuff like this going on, if you've got people taking custody of other people's keys, not that I say that we should do it, but unfortunately it's still going to exist. You know I mean? Right. It's, they're still going to do it. Yeah, there's and, always gonna be there's always gonna be middle like middle. I, 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 it's just it's just such a tough it's just a tough thing because like I mean we all know like your you know your keys are crypto right you want to hold your own keys as much as is viably possible right but you also have a huge amount of people that don't have like don't know anything about crypto and then th they're just trying to like they're just trying to get in because they feel like they're gonna miss out basically or like let me put some, let me squirrel some money around let me I'll, I'll leave, let me leave all my Ethereum on um, on Coinbase or whatever it is you know <laughs> like when, that's how people I mean that's how people start off right but it's just educating people you know and then you know keep getting people in to know about hex and then from there you know they they start really learning about how to control their own keys and crypto and everything but. Um, I really do believe that like there's still just gonna there's always I, it's just a cycle like we're always like all the ogs and like people right now learn like let me get my, let me get all my coins into places where i control them and then what happens is we get the next batch the next cycle when the prices go high and then people get loose with their like their morals basically or their or their stuff and then they, they, get, they get caught with their pants down again when the tide goes in you know yeah and this is just a cycle it just keeps happening and over i mean this happened in 2017 but obviously we didn't have as much DeFi back then, but still, you know, there's scams yeah. up the butt basically. And um, it, it's, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you remember 2017. I mean, like Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was in every single one of them. You know, yeah, the only one I didn't get in was BitConnect. I was in everything else. Me everything too, else. <laughs> <laughs> I missed BitConnect. I was like, damn it. But you know. Yeah.